Well, it's Tuesday, and that means another tutorial, number seven. This time, we're going to look at something a little more unique, running two SIM cards on your phone. Now, many phones out there, including most of the phones offered by New Mobile, have two SIM card slots, and we're going to look at how to set up your phone to use those. Now, this tutorial was done on stock Android 9, and there may be some slight differences on other versions. So, start off by checking your SIM tray and ensuring that you've got room for two of these SIM cards. In some cases, the SIM tray will have a dedicated spot for the first SIM card, and a second spot, which is dual purpose, able to fit either a second SIM card or an SD card, as you can see here in the shots. In my case, I've got one SIM card only right now, but I'll go ahead and put a second one in. Now, Depending on your version of Android, the system will be more or less proactive about getting you to set up your new SIM card arrangement. In Android 10, you would immediately get a prompt to at least set which SIM card your phone will draw data from. But in Android 9 and below, you need to set this up for yourself. So let's head into the app drawer and tap settings to do that. Or quick shortcut into settings, pull down the notification slider twice, and hit the small gear right here. Now, tap Network and Internet, and inside here you'll see an item named SIM Cards. This is where we want to go. Inside, you'll immediately see the two SIM cards you've got in your phone, with numbers and colors assigned to them on the left, and enable toggles to the right. Those toggles work to simply disable any SIM card in your phone, if you want, without the trouble of physically taking it out. Now, as for the look and feel, we can actually edit these slightly to alter their appearance by tapping on their names. Here you can edit the name that appears under SIM slot 1, and I've simply named mine T-Mobile because that's what the SIM card is, and I've made the color pink since that's T-Mobile's color as well. The carrier and number are auto-determined, so you can't change these. They're there purely for informational purposes. Back out in the main SIM card interface again, and looking downwards, we see a list of three preferences for our SIM cards. One for data, another for calling, and a final one for SMS messages. As you tap on each one of these, you'll see that it gives you a choice between your two SMS cards. In this way, you could hypothetically have one SIM card providing your data, and another SIM card handling your calls and SMS messages. There are a few scenarios where this could be helpful, such as if you have a new data package on one SIM card, but you want to keep receiving calls and SMS messages on your other SIM card. You'll notice that the preferences for calling allows a third option, ask every time. And this could be helpful if you've got two SIM cards with two phone numbers that you regularly call out with. To be clear, when you've got two SIM cards, you don't actually need to choose one SIM or the other for receiving calls and SMS messages. You'll always get incoming from each SIM card, but the preferences are here merely for which to send with. Now, moving out to the SMS app. While the calling can be set to ask every time or default to one or the other, your SMS app can always be set to send with one or the other as you send messages, as you can see here. So, I can select T-Mobile to send with, or I can select my other SIM card to send with. And that's it, the basics of managing a phone with two SIM cards. As always, feel free to leave any comments below, questions I didn't answer here, any suggestions or requests for new tutorials. It's all welcome. See you next Tuesday.